Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza Wolf from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this is going to be my quick hit of the day. Quick hit. So I'm going to try to get straight to the point. This is uh, Luke chapter 9 and 23. All right, now if you have a red letter Bible, this is written in red. So this is Yahweh Shai speaking. It says, And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. All right, so this is a very important heavy message that the lord is speaking of okay because um you know when you're a heap when you're an israelite you know you wake up to this truth and you're, you're an israelite and you're following yahweh bashim yahweh shai you know you know that it's not going to be a, a easy uh a easy a easy road to pass okay all right yahweh shai suffered uh, the, those who are in the body of the Lord, the elect, they're gonna suffer. When the Lord, when Yahweh Shai be glorified, those that are in the body of Yahweh Shai, the elect, they're gonna be glorified. And the Lord did, okay, uh, come, okay, the first time, and He witnessed that this place is wicked. So while we in His absence, carrying on His ministry and believing, okay, waiting until the day that He come for the second time, guess what? We're going to go through what he went through. So let's read this again. It says, and he said to them all, if any man will come after me, meaning, you know, seek after the truth, seek after Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? Let him deny himself. Why you have to deny yourself? Because you have to humble yourself. All right. You, you okay, um, individually, you know, your life is now given over, okay, in a bond with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. When the Lord acknowledge, when the Lord wake up your uh your your spirit and you acknowledge this truth, okay, and you follow, you seek unto the Lord, you have to deny yourself. You know, yesterday in camp, we had a nice camp until the rain came. But uh the brother Shar, we was uh bringing out the precepts and scriptures and uh made mention how these bodies that were in this flesh, you know, it's it's alone. All right, it's alone. It's alone from from the Lord. You know, these fleshly bodies is nothing but alone that our spirit, okay, resting. So it says, let him deny himself. You gotta deny yourself. All right, scriptures say, uh, precept: lean not upon thy own understanding. There's some things you might not understand, but if you put your faith in your Bashim Yahweh Shai, in due time, the Lord gonna give you the understanding. All right, it says, and take up his cross daily. Now, this cross represents your burdens, your trouble, okay? The trouble that you got to get through in this wicked society, all right? There's where we at the very beginning of what? Jacob's trouble, all right? Elder Apostle Tahar just did a beautiful lesson that I just watched a few, maybe about a couple of, maybe an hour ago. And uh, he was responding back to the comment board. And the guy was asking about, is this Jacob's trouble? Well, we're in the beginning of it. And he was talking about the second wave of this C-19 deal. You know, they want to say that the second wave of this is going to be even harsher. So, you know, that means that the devil is going to come down having great wrath because he know of that he had for the short term. All right. So it says, and take up his cross daily, meaning you have to take up your cross. All right. Got to fight in this truth. It says, and follow me. Follow who? Follow me. Follow Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh Shai did set up men who are following Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So is it, so is it okay to follow men? Yeah, the men that are following Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. All right. So therefore, you think that you're going to save your life. Okay, because you want to live in this lone flesh that's given by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You want to save this flesh, then guess what? You're going to lose it. 
and that's going to come down to the point where um you know you're going to have um the force of the RFID microchip all right you're going to have these forced vaccines and people are going to give in they're going to de denounce the name of the lord they're going to give in and want to save their families save their own life the lord said for whosoever will save his life shall lose it because at the end of the day the lord said the fashion of this world passeth away so you might save your life for a little short period of, of time but ultimately the lord is going to destroy this place so it says for whosoever will save his life shall lose it and this could go uh to the guys who want to go back to school and you know want to do this and want to do that you know because why you want some type of um uh status in this world well this world is gone man this this world your world is gone here in babylon it's gone you know they, they look they're looking now to reopen up stores and get this place running again but it would never be the same because this is the end it says but whosoever will lose his life for my sake the same shall save it so losing your life for yahweh shai ultimately the lord is going to save your life you see that that's key man because the men of the lord who woken up to this truth years ago they lost their life to this world they're no longer part of the world all right you know how many uh nights weeks days that brothers uh men elders apostles who gave their life over studying researching constantly uh teaching this word in season out of season all right they they gave up they sacrificed not being not going into the careers that the, the promising careers that they had not seeking out that they they gave it up all right just as well as getting down to the end the very end where you know it, it might be have it might be your life that you have to give up this this uh flesh you might have to give up this flesh okay the Lord said, but whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. Okay. So think on that, man. This is the quick hit. And, um, you know, like I was meditating before, you know, now we don't know, um, you know, how the Lord is going to play out every brother's lot. We just got to go with what the cards, so to say, the cards been dealt to us. But we know we know that we know the gospel all right we know how the end pans out at the end of the day okay you know i was saying this to brothers before uh maybe was it yesterday not, not yesterday maybe last week as we was fellowshipping you know sipping on some yin yun and kicking it man you know it's like talking about death you know that's the uh flesh that's your flesh biggest fear dying you know losing this this lone body we in you know, I was, you know, just speculating, just throwing it out there, man. You know, you could be at the point where you're ready to go and saying, fuck it. You know, Esau might as well, you know, off with your head or whatever the case may be. And then right in that very moment when you think you're ready to go. All right. The Lord save you. <laughs> you know, and, and you be sitting there, you know, ready to go. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hey, fuck it. Got to go. And, and the Lord knows that within your heart, your mind, knowing that you're ready. And the next thing you know, you know, he save you. You know, the, the, the chains fall off you. You know, spiritual powers, you know, come out of you through this power of the Lord. You know, whatever which way the Lord do, you know, you got to think in that way. The Lord said, count the cost, man. So this is hopefully edifying to give uh, faith to brothers who may be weak minded, you know. Scriptures say, uh, cast off the burdens of men, uh, put off now the weak nature. The Lord told Job, you know, which is Job is a representation of all of us, just like the rest of the prophets, Ezekiel and so on, Moses. He said, he told Job to gird up thy loins. And if you truly understand these scriptures, may the Lord have mercy on you. All right. Understanding is, is uh, very important. So, you know, I'm going to read it one more time and end it with that. It says, uh, Luke nine and 23 and he said to them all if any man will come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me for whosoever will save his life shall lose it but whosoever will lose his life for my sake the same shall save it so with that i hope you were edified i want to give all praises to yahweh bashim yahweh shai 
Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his words, asserting the truth. Shalom.